In this video, I'm going to install PyCharm on Windows 11. So the first thing we need to do is actually download PyCharm. So if we go to jetbrains.com slash PyCharm, that brings up the PyCharm homepage and we have a download option. So there's a couple options for what you want to download. There's a pro version that has a trial, but if you scroll down, there's a free community edition. And unless you want to pay for it, this would be the version that you want to install. And after a few moments, your download should be complete. And then once the download's complete, we can click it to launch. So I'll go ahead and minimize my browser and walk through this setup. I'll accept the defaults for the most part. You may want to set up a desktop shortcut and adding it to your path is something you either choose or not to. And then I also find it helpful if you're going to be doing a lot of Python programming in the future, choosing to update the context menu to add folders project is helpful. And then also do you want to associate Python files with PyCharm so that when you double click one, it opens up. I actually prefer not to do this because most of my editing I'll do in Visual Studio Code. So I'll leave that unchecked, but that's a decision you have to decide which you prefer. Then I'll click next and then use the default there. And then I'll let it install and that'll take a few moments. So then it'll ask you to reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot now so that I can start this up. And then once we're back up, I'll continue the video. Okay, we've rebooted and notice I do have the desktop icon. So I'll click that to bring it up. I'll go ahead and accept the user agreement. And so here we have PyCharm. So just to check that it's okay, I'll create a new project and I'll leave the default location. I think that those are fine. Looks like it does see that I have Python installed already. So that's good. So I'll create a hello world project. So I have a note about Defender here and I'll go ahead and exclude those scripts. So now I'm going to make a new Python file. I'm going to call it hello. And then I'm going to say print hello PyCharm. And then I'll click the play button to run. And then you can see I get my output here. That's actually taking up a lot of room. So I would resize that. But at this point, I'm ready to go and write Python code in PyCharm. 